ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय कैंटो सिक्स चैप्टर एट द नारायण कवचा शील्ड वर्स नंबर फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन फोर्टीन हैज नो पर्पट सो फिफ्टीन वी विल चैंट आई चैंट फोर्टीन बाय माई सेल्फ दुर्गेशु अटवी आजी मुखादिशु प्रभु पायन नरसिंह सुरयूथ पारि विमुच्य तो यहासम दिशो विनेपत गर्भा ट्रांसलेशन May Lord Narasimha Deva who appeared as the enemy of Hiranyakashipu protect me in all directions his loud laughing vibrated in all directions and caused the pregnant wives of the asuras to have miscarriages may that lord be kind enough to protect me in difficult places like the forest and the battle front verse number 15 rakshat ध्वनिग्नकोवराहमुद्रिकुटीश्वथ विप्रवास स लक्ष्मण व्याग्रजोस्म translation and purport by his divine grace ac bhakti vedant swami shila prabhupad translation the supreme indestructible lord is ascertained through the performance of ritualistic sacrifices and is therefore known as yagneshwar in his incarnation as lord bore he raised the planet earth from the water at the bottom of the universe and kept it on his pointed tusks kept it on his pointed tusks may that lord protect me from rogues on the street may parshuram protect me on the tops of the mountains and may the elder brother bharata lord ramachandra along with his brother lakshmana protect me in the foreign countries purport there are three ramas one rama is parashurama that is jama dagnya another rama is lord ramachandra and a third rama is lord balarama in this verse the words ramo drikuteshu atha indicate lord parashurama the brother of bharat maharaj and lakshmana is lord ramachandra so this chapter the narayana kavacha shield is talking of a very special protective shield shield means something that is going to protect you from something so this narayana kavacha the shield of lord narayana is something that was composed that was made by vishwarupa the brahmana priest who has taken charge to deliver to protect the devatas headed by indra we know how all the devatas lost their power their opulence in the heavenly kingdom because indra had offended brihaspati when brihaspati the spiritual master of the devatas had appeared in the assembly indra did not show him proper respect he did not get up from his place he did not offer some pleasing words and so brihaspati gets angry and he goes away and because of this offense of indra the entire devatas are cursed that and they lose their kingdom they they lose because the support of the spiritual master is not there and so they lose their entire heavenly planets at the hands of the demons demons had the support of their spiritual master shukracharya so all the devatas didn't know what to do they need a spiritual master without spiritual master you cannot live so lord they they were advised 
by Lord Brahma that you go and approach Vishwarupa. Vishwarupa will protect you and he will help you win over, win back the kingdom that you have lost to the demons. So Indra along with all the Devatas have approached Vishwarupa and Vishwarupa agrees to become their spiritual master in order to help them to regain their kingdom and he composes this Narayana Kavacha, a protective prayer which if worn, how do you wear this prayer? How do you wear this Kavacha? It's an interesting Kavacha. This has to be worn by chanting. If you chant this Kavacha, you are actually wearing this Kavacha. So, to last about two, three verses back, uh, the Kavacha, the, the prayer, the Narayana Kavacha, that protective prayer that he composed is now what Vishwarupa is narrating to the Devatas. And so these are the two Narayana Kavacha prayers that we are reading today. So basically in this prayer, he is praying to Lord Narsimha Dev, who appeared as the enemy of Hiranyakashipu to protect uh, the Devatas in all directions. May that Lord be kind enough to protect me in difficult places like forest and battlefront. This complete protection from everything. And in the next verse, he is praying to two more deities of Lord Vishnu, of Lord Krishna. He is praying to Varahadev and he is praying to Parshuram and he is also praying to so four prayers. One is Narsimha Dev, then Varahadev, then Parshuram and also to Lord Ramachandra along with his brothers, Bharat, Lakshmana, uh, to protect me in foreign countries and to, uh, to Lord Varha to, um, um, to protect from the rogues on the street. May Parshuram protect from the tops, protect me from the tops of the mountain. So these are the different prayers. So as devotees of Srila Prabhupada, we know how powerful these prayers will be because it's not just one holy name, it's a name of Lord Narsimha, name of Lord Varaha, name of Lord Parshurama, name of Lord Ramachandra, of uh, Lakshmana, of um, Bharata, all these names are there, so names are very powerful. So now, in the first prayer, the prayer is to Lord Narsimha Deva. We know the wonderful story of Lord Narsimha Deva, how Narsimha Deva protected Prahlad Maharaj. The Lord appeared in this wonderful form to protect his five-year-old devotee. Prahlad was so devoted that Lord protected him in all different possible ways. That is inconceivable. Prahlad was thrown in a pit of snakes, poisonous snakes, and nothing happened to him. Then he was uh, a big, huge elephants was stamping Prahalad. You can imagine, but nothing happened. Then the demons were piercing the body, small five-year-old delicate body. They were piercing him with sharp spears and lances. Nothing happened. Hiranyakashipu took him on the top of the mountain and ordered that he be thrown from the cliff from the top of a mountain. Nothing happened. Then he made him fast, nothing happened. And finally, what did Hiranyakashipu do? Okay, I will administer you poison. And he did it through his wife, mother of Prahlad. Prahlad knew that he is drinking poison, but still nothing happened. So this is the protection that Narsimha Deva was giving to Prahlad Maharaj. Prabhupada, once when he is lecturing on this lecture, he, 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 he says, Sometimes people ask us, have you seen God? So our answer is, I have not seen God, sir. I am seeing God every moment. It is not that we have seen God once and it's over. No, every moment a pure devotee is seeing God. Santa sadaiva hridayeshu vilokayanti every moment and this is the goal of life and what was Prahlad doing he was just simply thinking of Lord Narsimha chanting his holy name 
he was so because when narsimha deva is asking him so many things and he's he's making him go through all these different difficulties prahlad is prahlad is unaffected because constantly is in touch with god when narsimha asked him is he in this pillar yes he is in this pillar is he in that pillar yes he is in that pillar why did prahlad say that he is in this pillar is in that pillar because he seeing god in the pillar so devotee does not just see god once he sees god every moment and just like prahlad maharaj was favored by lord narsimha deva now you may think that this is a very old story it happened in which yuga and uh, how many millions of narsimha appeared in this millennium of which it's it's like a millions and billions of years old story but if we become devotees of the lord and we seek his protection by chanting the holy name lord narsimha will appear even today to protect us there are instances shila prabhu uh, you know during the time of shila prabhupad where devotees have recalled just you know about 50 years ago the devotees have felt the protection of lord narsimha deva they just prayed to him chanted his holy name and the lord is there so for us it has become so easy here indra is being given this narayana kavacha shield a very special prayer we also have the narayana kavacha shield and what is our narayana kavacha shield hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare this is a supremely powerful shield that can protect us all the time always anywhere any time and if we have strong faith in this shield lord narsimha deva can appear we know that story during chaitanya mahaprabhu's time when chand kazi who was a magistrate he tried to stop the devotees from doing sankirtan so what did he do he was he was receiving lot of complaints because chand kazi the magistrate was overseeing that area and he was receiving complaint from his people that the hindus are chanting too much hare krishna maha mantra and it is against our religion so please do something so chand kazi went one day to one house and he broke the drums and mridangas and forbade them gave strict orders nobody can chant hare krishna mantra so that night when chand kazi and later we know chaitanya mahaprabhu organized the civil disobedience movement and chaitanya mahaprabhu came to chand kazi's house and they have a dialogue on quran on on geeta a very nice dialogue they have and chand kazi was very respectful to chaitanya mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu was also very respectful to chand kazi and then chand kazi narrated something so chand kazi tells chaitanya mahaprabhu that that day when i stopped your people and i broke the drums and mridanga something very astonishing happened lord narsimha deva protects in two ways directly he will protect the devotee paritranaya sadhunam and vinashaya cha dushkritam he will do that also both ways he takes it protect the devotees and vanquish the demons but narsimha deva is so merciful especially in this incident of chand kazi how did he vanquish chand kazi so narsimha deva actually so chand kazi is narrating that that day when i did this that very same night something astonishing happened when i was sleeping in my dream a very fierce personality appeared he had a face like a lion but his body was like a human being narsimha deva had actually appeared and he was roaring fiercely and he was laughing fiercely and in my sleep i was sleeping he sprang on my chest and clasped my chest with nails with claws and he spoke to me he spoke to me and then he says a few things that i am going to bifurcate your chest i am going to destroy you today for the offense that you had committed 
Why did you stop the Sankirtan Yagna that my devotees were doing? That is an offense. You should never do this. And I've come here to teach a lesson. And I wish to kill you, but I'm going to tolerate this, what you have done, and I'm going to give you one more chance. And hear from me that today I have tolerated and I've forgiven you, but if in case you repeat this once again, then surely I will kill you. I will not only kill you, I will kill your entire family and your entire community. So that was the, you know, that was the way Narsimha Deva spoke to him. But he forgave him for what he did. And Chan Kazi was saying, when Lord Narsimha was speaking to me, I was so afraid and fearful and I was shivering. I was trembling. And I just closed my eyes. And then Narsimha Deva forgave me. He did not kill me. He did not do anything to me. And then he left. And I was like giving a sigh of relief. So this is how Narsimha Deva acted. And then Kazi said something. Another thing happened that was very astonishing. So I was saved. But that very same day, because now Kazi had given a instruction that he had given instruction to all his people, soldiers, Payada it is called, that anywhere you see this Sankirtana going on, you must stop it. So his other soldiers, when they were trying to stop the Sankirtana, the soldiers came back and reported something astonishing happened to us also. What happened? We were struck by fire in our face. And our entire beard got burnt and our cheeks have blisters, fire blisters, burnt blisters. So Chand Kazi was really taken aback. This is what happened to him. He was going to be destroyed by Narsimha but somehow he was saved. That you should not repeat it and now they are saying. And then another soldier comes and he also says the same thing. That the moment I tried to stop the Sankirtan Yagna, the face was struck with fire, beard was burnt, everything was burnt, the blisters on the cheeks. So then Kazi gave them an instruction, okay, stop it from today, please do not do this anymore. And so from that day it was stopped. But then again, again, again another issue happened. What happened? Now because Kazi stopped this, that you should not obstruct this and they should continue chanting the holy names, Lot of devotees started chanting Hari Hari, started chanting the holy name. So again, Kazi's associates, Chand Kazi's associates come and they lodge a complaint that these Hindus are chanting Hari Hari too much. Hari 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 Kole Kori Kola Hali. Kola Hali, you know, they are not just chanting, they are chanting so loudly and everywhere they are. So this, you know, the Hindus are increasing and this is, you know, uh, they are doing too much of chanting Hari Hari. So uh, please do something about it. This must stop immediately. And then they, had, uh, they are trying to scare the, ch they are trying to scare Chand Kazi. They are telling Chand Kazi, if you do not stop this Hari Hari chanting of the Hindus, then what will happen? Uh, Ch Kazi was reporting to the magistrate, Nawab Hussein Shah. So he says, sorry, uh, he was the magistrate, he was reporting to the Badshah, Nawab Hussein Shah. So he says, Nawab Hussein Shah is going to punish you if you do not stop it. But Kazi knew in his heart what is, going, what is happening and he knew that he cannot punish them. He knew that this is the divine will of the Lord. And so, so Kazi, but one thing that was, that Kazi did not understand, he told his people, that okay, they are chanting Hari Hari. What happened? That when these people, when they, the, the, uh, the soldiers of the Kazi and other people to whom he had given orders to stop them, when they saw that everybody, the Hindu Gana is chanting Hari Hari and Krishna Krishna, because they were hearing. And they thought, initially what they thought, saying they are chanting Hari Hari, Actually, Hari means, I will take away. I will take away. 
So they didn't, they didn't understand that Hari is the name of Lord Krishna. So initially the, uh, the soldiers of Chand Kazi, they became very worried. They thought, oh, these people are doing too much of Hari Hari. Looks like they're going to attack some houses and steal away all their wealth. That is what they were thinking. So we were just contemplating, thinking, what is this Hari Hari they are going on? So Chand Kazi was asking them that, why are you? So they, because this Hari Hari they were hearing, they also started chanting Hari Hari. So when they went to lodge a complaint to Chand Kazi saying that these Hindus are chanting Hari Hari too much, please stop them. Otherwise, Nawab Hussain Shah will be angry and he will punish you. And then they, when they're complaining like this, they're going on chanting, Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Hari. They're going on chanting. So the Kazi was confused. Kazi was saying, okay, you're bringing a complaint that they are chanting Hari Hari. That I can understand because Hari Hari is their mantra, is the Hindu uh, scriptural uh, injunction. It is their chanting. But why are you chanting Hari Hari? What is the reason that you are chanting Hari Hari? I do not understand. This is their mantra, not our mantra. So then, those people reply that when we heard this Hari Hari, then they are saying like this, Shei Hoite, after hearing the Hari Hari, Shei Hoite Jiva Mora Bole Hari Hari, from that point of time that I heard the Hari Hari, Shei Hoite Jiva Mora Bole Hari Hari, my tongue is chanting Hari Hari, Icha Nahi, I do not have a desire, Icha Nahi Tabu Bole Ki Upaye Kori, Shei Hoite Jiva Mora Bole Hari Hari, Icha Nahi Tabu Bole Ki Upaye Kari, I have no desire to chant this mantra, but I don't know what is happening that I am chanting this mantra. And then further they say, Jiva Krishna Naam Kare Na Mane Na Mani Varjan. The tongue is chanting the holy name and it is just not stopping. Jiva Krishna Naam Kori Na Mane Varjan Na Jani Ki Mantra Aushadhi Jane Hindu Gana. So this was their realization that, that we don't know what has happened because they were all pure devotees of Lord Krishna chanting Hari Hari, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by the influence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And once they heard this Hari Hari chanting, although associates of Chand Kazi did not want to chant, but they're seeing the powerful potency that even though they don't want to chant, the holy name is appearing on their tongue. That is the wonderful effect of chanting the holy name. And then the Chand Kazi, he understood that this is something very special. And so he just sent them home. He said, don't worry, I will take care of all of them. You don't have to worry. And he sent them home. And then after that, another incident happens. First, Chand Kazi's own realization. Then second, his associate was struck by fire. Then third, Hari Hari is not stopping on their tongue. Continuously they are chanting. So Chand Kazi is seeing all these things and he's understanding that this Holy name of Krishna, Hari Hari, is very, very powerful. And then another thing happened. Now, first the complaint was from the associates of Chand Kazi. Now the complaint is coming from a section of the Hindu Brahmanas. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave them Hari Hari freely and they all know that they're getting delivered and they're getting cleansed. And so a section of Hindus who were stuck to not this, who didn't, who who were not into this, who were envious of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they had their own methods, rituals and some uh, yagnas not meant for this particular age of Kali Yuga but that was the means to earn, to, you know, that was the means to, you know, to act as priests and, you know, to earn money and that was their livelihood. They saw that their livelihood is compromised because everybody is chanting Hari Hari and nobody is coming to them for these rituals and, and, and the yagnas and all these things. So they were scared, they were worried. So they went and lodged complaint to Chand Kazi that this Nimai Pandit Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has introduced a new system of religion. What is that new system of religion? Chanting the holy names of Krishna. This is nowhere there in our scriptures, which is not a fact. 
ಇದು ಷೋಡಶಕ ನಾಹತ ಪರತೋಪಾಯ ಸರ್ವೇದೇಶು ದೃಶ್ಯಸೆ ಹರೇರ್ನ ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನಾ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಇಂಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಜ್ so these people the caste brahmanas they were very worried very protective about what will happen to them and they were not happy and they were saying that we don't know what kind of this mantra actually this was told by the associates of chand kazi also and by the by the section of that caste brahmanas also that they were saying that we don't know what is the potency what is the power of this hari krishna of this names of hari and krishna that when these people are chanting they are becoming mad in ecstasy we don't know what food they are eating that is giving them so much strength so much of power they are becoming mad in ecstasy they are rolling on the ground they are shouting they are crying they are laughing they are weeping their tears coming from their eyes they were all in you know ecstasy so we don't know what kind of an ecstasy what is this mantra and they are chanting and singing whole day and night where are they getting the energy from actually if we chant offenselessly it is possible that's how haridas thakur was chanting and that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu also said kirtaniya sada harihi so by chanting right now by chanting we are getting drained out but actually by chanting you will get more energy so all these this this caste brahmanas they also approach kazi tell them you don't know what is happening so you please you know so they tell that you have to drive away nimai from this village of navadvipa otherwise navadvipa will get destroyed it will get deserted so these were the but the kazi was not at all bothered so kazi relates all these things that first narsimha deva appeared to me and then all these things happen and so i've sent them all back i simply said that i will take some action do not worry and i send them all back but actually so then chaitanya mahaprabhu asks him okay they have said like this so now what are you going to do and then chand kazi says that because he knows because chaitanya mahaprabhu is the supreme personality of godhead and he is very respectful and then he understands that because he had done this uh, narsimha had come and uh, and you know and given him one more chance protected him practically protected him and when narsimha deva had come uh, one more thing that chand kazi showed like narsimha deva had come on and he was he was on his chest like this with his claws So when the dream ended then Chand Kazi is relating that what i am saying is a fact and then you know when the tigers when a lion's claws are there on your chest uh, marks will appear because it's very strong so there were marks of the claws of Narsimha Deva on the chest of Kazi and then after and Chand and Chand Kazi shows he opens his, his he opens you know he removes his clothes and shows the marks of narsimha deva on his chest and then all the chaitanya mahaprabhu and all the devotees see this and they completely and they believe this incident to be actually true such was the mercy of lord narsimha deva how he protected his devotees just like narsimha deva so they are praying to narsimha deva here indra is praying to narsimha deva to to protect him just like he and we can see that narsimha deva protects us in all circumstances if we are truly devoted to him and we chant the holy names of the lord sincerely so chand kazi then tells him, so chand kazi you know falls at the feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu and he says please forgive me for what i have done i accept you to be narayana there is no difference between you and narayana and uh, uh, i will never do and chaitanya mahaprabhu asks him so you must give one promise that from today nobody should stop sankirtana in the entire village of navadvipa and chand kazi says not only i am going to never stop the sankirtana i am going to pass strict orders that from today for eternity in my entire dynasty in my entire generation yet to come my children their children their children and my entire family nobody will stop the sankirtana and chand kazi passes that order and prabhupad writes in the purport till today that is being strictly followed the family descendants of chand kazi respect the order that he had passed for the devotees of lord krishna and they all follow even you know in in, in the year 1971 when some 
uh, riots and some disturbances had happened, Sankirtana was never stopped. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu blesses him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tells actually Chand Kazi, by narrating the story, he had chanted the name Hari because those people had said Hari Hari. So Chand Kazi also chanted Hari. He had chanted the name Krishna because the complaint came that they are chanting Krishna, Krishna. And he said, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are Narayana. So here, so, so Chand Kazi, uh, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tells Chand Kazi like this. So Chand Kazi chanted three names. So Mahaprabhu says, Hari Krishna Narayana. Boli Teen Naam. You have chanted these three names. Hari Krishna Narayana. Hari Krishna Narayana. Boli Teen Naam. Bado Bhagyavan Tumi. Bado Punyavan. You are very, very fortunate. And you have attained all piety. So this is, you know, the wonderful incident of the, rev of the realization of Chand Kazi. He tried to stop. He tried to break. He tried to stop the Sankirtana. And this is how he was blessed. By Narsimha Deva, by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we are so fortunate that in today's day and age, we have this protection shield of chanting the holy names, Hari, Krishna, Narayana. We have the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. All that we need to do is to chant very attentively, hear very attentively, try our best to hear, and then all protection, all kinds of protection will be there from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is our shield. Just like you see, Indra is so seriously taken to the shield. He has approached a guru and he has paid obeisances. The guru is preparing a big mantra and now guru is teaching Indra and with this mantra is going to fight. Indra's whole focus is on this mantra because he has to win back the kingdom. So in the same way, because it's very intense for us, it's, you know, it's, it's do or die for Indra because if he doesn't take this Narayana Kavacha shield finished, he's already lost and he will never win over and that's, that's the end of life. So similarly for us also we must feel that this Hare Krishna mantra is our only protection shield. And if I don't take to this properly and chant it attentively and hear the mantra, then that's the end of life. Janiya, Shuniya, Vishakhainu. I am knowingly drinking poison. And if you take to it, complete success. So just like Indra was so serious, similarly we must also be very seriously taking to this. So the mantra is available, the protection shield is available. How seriously we take to it is in our hand. The more seriously we take to it, the quicker we will be able to experience the protection of the Lord. The Lord is actually protecting us. Every moment He is protecting us. He is protecting us in whatever position we are right now. But that protection, that, you know, that uh, another kind of a protection experience you will get, just like Prahlad Maharaj was getting. He's seeing the Lord every moment. He's so confident. Poison is being given to him. He's happily drinking it because he knows that the Lord is protecting me 24 hours. So this is a story. It is said that this Kazi story, whoever hears this Kazi incidents, this Kazi story in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, the author Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami writes that he will be freed from all offenses. There's a verse, he'll be freed from all offenses. So the biggest hindrance that comes in our way of chanting are two kinds of offense. The first offense to blaspheme the devotees who have dedicated the life for propagation of the holy name of the Lord. That is the first offense we do. And the ten offenses we do. But if you hear the Chand Kazi story, meditate on it and, and you know, think about the wonderful meaning and the wonderful pastime, then we'll be freed from all offenses. Srila Prabhupada ki, Granthara Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Nitai Gaur Pimananda.